that we're driving up to go elk hunting, so uh, figured we might try and do a uh, uh, video. And we've had some questions over the past several months about um, how do we feel, uh, basically between the United States and the Philippines. What you know, what what's the differences? You know, which is um, I guess which is, is more comfortable to you and just uh, you know the feeling you get from being in one versus the other so uh, we'll, we'll kind of break it up a little bit and uh, put it out there where we live in both countries is about the same um, we don't live right in town in either country. We're about a half an hour to 40 minutes away from downtown in both countries. Uh, so we don't, that's not a big change for, for both either country. So that's how we live in the United States. That's how we live in the Philippines. So if we want to go downtown, it takes a little bit uh, in either. Uh, we live the same way that we do uh, in the Philippines as we do in the United States. We, we have uh, a pantry. We, we, you know, we make sure that we buy stuff more in bulk. We don't like uh, having to run out every day and grab stuff. And uh, as we get further along on the house and, and finishing it over in the Philippines, it'll, it'll be a little bit better. You know, we'll get more set and little bit better stocked pantry for uh, living the way we do uh, and that's on purpose we don't I mean I'm not a big fan of big cities to begin with uh, not that I mind them so much if I'm visiting and we will probably try and try and get us a condo at some point over there just so we can get away uh, and spend a little getaway time from the house so and that will obviously be in a big city but we can get all of our big city stuff out of the way pretty quickly um, while we're staying at a condo there. So, um, so that part of it is is roughly the same. It's not a not a big change for for us at all. Uh, the food and the shopping is, uh, I think, every expat will will agree with this, or, or most will that shopping uh, in the Philippines can be uh, frustrating at times. They either are out of stock, and I'm not talking just groceries, I'm talking everything. Uh, you know, hardware stuff, uh, you know, just general stuff. Uh, sometimes it's very difficult to get items over there. Uh, in the United States, it's not near uh, as bad, although you run into it from time to time where they're, they run out of something. but majority of the time they have stuff here however here lately the grocery shopping here has uh, been kind of interesting uh, where you go in and there's no milk at all I mean they have nothing on the shelves and uh, that kind of thing so that's that's been a little bit different for here and it's due to the the economy and the inflation and stuff like that I will show them So that is, is a, a little bit of a difference between the countries, although you can get a lot of stuff in the Philippines uh, that, that is, is very good quality. Uh, you can also get a lot of really cheap stuff that the quality is not that good. Uh, and so far, the stuff that we've gotten over there, uh, even through Shopee or whatever, has been decent. I haven't been upset with uh, like the ladder that we purchased or the, the shop back. The charger like for the uh, power tools. Right, the uh, uh, the grass cutter, stuff like that. I've been very pleased with all of that. Uh, it's been, uh, for the for the cost that we're spending, it, it's, it's good. I don't care if it's, uh, if it's a brand name or not. I as long as it runs and, and it works and it does what I want it to do, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, so here, uh, you know, I've been looking at tools and, and various you know, things here to basically 
basically uh, stock my tools over there because I know the, the quality that I'm going to get here. Uh, the prices here are, depending on what you get, are, are a lot higher. Uh, but, the, you know, the, the tools that I buy, I've, I've bought in the past and I've, uh, I've used them for years. So I know their quality is good and that, that kind of thing. So um, I don't buy the most expensive stuff in either country. I just buy the stuff that I know works well. And uh, we just uh, get what we can and, and continue to plug along. So uh, that's kind of regards to shopping. Um, just food. Well, well, we'll get into the groceries here okay. in a minute. But, no, I meant um, like what you're eating in the The people, uh, not that you run into terrible people in the United States all the time, but they tend to, the people in the United States tend to not be as polite. open and polite and friendly to you as they are in the Philippines. So, you know, in the, not that it wasn't uh, interesting when we first moved into the barangay uh, and everybody had to, had to try and find me and check me out because I was the first foreigner to, to live in that barangay. Um, but they were all polite and you have to, well, I had to learn uh, that over there, if I want, I want them to feel comfortable with me, I have to initiate the conversation with them. I have to say good morning yes, first. Yes, that's true. Uh, if I don't do that, then they feel like I'm, um, I'm not, I'm, I'm looking down on them basically, in, unless I interact with them first. Once I do that, they're very, very friendly, very nice, uh, very happy. Uh, here you don't get that. People don't even want to talk to you, for the most part. So, uh, which is fine. I mean, it is what it is. But um, so the people, I would say, uh, the people are much more friendly in the Philippines uh, overall. Uh, and I will put up a little add-on to that when you're shopping over there as a foreigner they will try and get the most money out of you as they possibly can get Skin box. Um, and they will uh, they will not show you what you are actually asking for unless you're gonna walk out the door you know I've, I've walked into places and I'm, I'm looking for a certain price point for whatever it may be and they will not show you that until they've drug you through the store to the most expensive items they can find. Oh, when we're looking for an AC. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and then once I'm, I've had enough, you know, I've gone from the very, very high priced stuff, you know, all through the, the thing. And, and I still haven't seen what I've told them was my, my budget. Uh, I'm like, okay, well, I'm leaving. I'm going out the door. Then they try and get you over to the stuff that you've been looking for the whole time. And at that point, I'm not, I'm not going to buy from them. Uh, I think that they get a commission off of, of what they're selling. And I understand they're trying to upsell and, and do that kind of thing. And they do that here to some degree. But over there, if you're a foreigner, you're a millionaire. Yeah, and, I uh, never run out of money. Whether, whether they, you know... It, it, it doesn't matter what you say or what you do. It, it, that's what you are. You're a millionaire. You've got endless supply of money, and they're they want some. You know, they're trying to to support their families and everything else by their job. <clears throat> so they see you walk in, and they they think, man, we're gonna we're gonna get some money now. Even when you tell them, look, this is my budget. This is all I can afford. It doesn't matter. It, you, they they still see a millionaire standing in front of them. So. So that's the difference between um, that, that I see between the people. Uh, restaurants, restaurants are uh, they're great over there. We've we've ate some really good food at 
restaurants. But the uh, serving is small. Well, I, I, I'm okay <laughs> with the serving. However, um, you know, it will take for a small serving. It may take 45 minutes to get to the table. You know, once you've ordered it, uh, they they are not in a a rush at all. And we went to one restaurant. We won't say the name uh, for lunch and. They basically told us, well, we can't serve any lunch. They'd been open for several hours. We can't serve any lunch because the meats are still boiling. Now, it's like right at noon for lunch, uh, and, and they still hadn't prepared <laughs> for <laughs> yeah. the, the lunch meal. Um, here, you know, it's all about getting the, the stuff out quickly. So... You know, you go to a restaurant here and, and the majority of the time, you're not waiting very long to get your food. Fast service. Um, but uh, over there, uh, even even like a Jollibee. Even the fast food is yeah, not fast. <laughs> it's, uh, even the Jollibee or a McDonald's, it, it takes a, a fair amount of time just to get your food. Yeah, so you, food you have to be You just have patient. to be patient. Yeah, yeah you it's have just, to be patient. You have to be way more patient in the Philippines than you do here. And, you know, it's like driving over there. Uh, we're about the same distance from Manila as we are from Denver here. I can drive to Denver in just over an hour. 